Uh, I, I am the Deputy Director General of the Belgian Director General for Development Cooperation and Humanitarian <coughs> Aid. And um, so I'm de naturally delighted that uh, the, the, this, uh, this year's uh, DELOX um, meeting will take place, or is taking place uh, in our capital, in Brussels. Uh, Belgium um, views indeed itself um, as a champion of the uh, 2030 agenda. And um, it is therefore with uh, pleasure that I um, see that the focus of this uh, annual meeting will be put on the uh, Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Um, let me give you two illustrations uh, of um, two reasons for uh, being happy with, with this focus on the SDGs. <clears throat> First, um, Belgium has uh, already launched this year its national voluntary reviews of um, SDGs implementation. Um, Second, um, in October two uh, 2016, last year, uh, the Belgian SDG Charter uh, was uh, uh, signed um, as a first step in concretizing the mature commitments of uh, the stakeholders of, of that, the Charter, i.e. the gov government, private sector companies and civil society organizations. The aim uh, is to develop uh, multi-actor and multi-sectoral partnerships in different areas which are uh, very um, much important under the framework of the SDGs uh, like health, um, energy, uh, digitalization for development, agriculture and sustainable entrepreneurship. It is also nice for me to see that other policy priorities of Belgian Development Cooperation are also being specifically addressed during, or will be addressed during this meeting. One of them is the focus on domestic resource mobilization. This is indeed, in our view, essential uh, for um, ensuring SDGs implementation and uh, also um, fostering real ownership of development. Sound resource mobilization and management at local level can be indeed an important building block for democratic governance. Another uh, budget policy priority that will be a focus of this meeting is fragility. According to a recent OECD report, an estimated 60% of worldwide poverty will uh, be found in fragile contexts in 2030, in the year 2030. The focus on fragile situation is now more than ever a clear and conscious choice of our government and our list of Priority partner countries has recently been modified to make a reality of that. This means that we have to improve both the way we engage ourselves in fragile context and the way we address the root causes of fragility. Both require a stronger engagement with local actors and communities. Therefore, Meetings like this one are very useful for exchanging knowledge and experiences on these issues so that we can learn from each other and gain efficiencies in building the necessary capacities. It is also important that we work to, towards more policy coherence in order to achieve a stronger collective impact through our respective interventions. And let me conclude, I wish you a very successful meeting and I hope that you will enjoy your stay in Brussels. Thank you very much.